In this video, we will solve a truss problem using method of joints. Here, we have to determine forces in all members of a truss loaded as shown in figure. This is the given truss and we have to determine forces in all these members. So, whenever we are required to determine forces in all the members, we will use method of joints. Now, in method of joints, we will start from a joint having two members. So, there are two joints A. It is having two members AB and AD and similarly we have joint C. It is also having two members BC and CD. So we can take any of these two members but these two joints are connected with the supports. This is pin support and this is roller support. So we require reactions at these two supports at C and A. So first we will determine reactions at these two joints. For that we have to draw free body diagram of this entire truss. So in this free body diagram this support is roller support. So there will be one reaction RC which is perpendicular to the surface and in this joint we will have two reactions one vertical reaction YA and another horizontal reaction XA. Now we will apply equilibrium conditions or equations of equilibrium. So first we will apply sigma MA is equal to 0. So moment about this point equal to 0. So that x moment of XA and YA will become 0. So there are another 3 forces are there 8 kilo Newton, 12 kilo Newton and RC. So we have to take moments of these two 3 forces. So first one is uh, 8 into 1.5. This is 8. It is clockwise about A. So it is clockwise and its perpendicular distance is this one BD that is 1.5. Similarly, this 12 kilo Newton is again clockwise. So it is also positive and its, and its distance is 2. And third one is RC which it is anti-clockwise about point A and its distance is total distance perpendicular distance is 4. So when you solve this, you will get RC is equal to 9 kilo Newton. After that, you can apply sigma fx equal to 0. So, in sigma fx equal to 0, so there are only two forces in x direction, xa and 8 kilo Newton, both in positive direction. So, equation will become xa plus 8 is equal to 0. Therefore, xa is equal to minus 8 kilo Newton. Minus sign indicates that the direction assumed is just opposite to actual direction. So, this is xa direction we have taken towards right side but actual direction is towards left side. Now apply sigma Fy is equal to 0 then you will get uh, Ya plus Rc minus 12 kilo Newton. So this is Ya plus Rc minus 12 is equal to 0. Now Rc we have already determined 9 kilo Newton so this is 9 this is minus 12 so Ya is minus 9 plus 12 that is 3 kilo Newton. So this is what we have got. Uh, truss after uh, determining reaction. So I have changed the direction of this 8 kN, actual direction I am showing here. This is 9 kN and this 3 kN. Now in this truss, you can see that these two triangles BDC and BDA, these are congruent because this side is same, BD is common for both and DC same length both side 2 meters and this angle and this angle both right angle right this is right angle so therefore uh, all these angles so first if you take this angle is theta then this will also be theta this angle is 90 degree in both the cases so this angle is if you take alpha then this this will also be alpha you can determine this angles theta is tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to 1.5 divided by 2 in this right angle triangle you can see in this right angle triangle this side is uh, 1.5 and this side is 2. So, tan theta is equal to 1.5 divided by 2. When you solve this, you will get theta as 36.87 degree. So, this alpha will be 90 minus theta that is 53.13 degree. So, these two angles we have determined and now we will start drawing free body diagram of joints. So, we can start uh, with either C or A. So, we will start with this joint C. And there are two members connected with C, BC and CD. So we will draw forces along BC and along CD, but away from the C such that we are assuming these forces are tension, these members are tension members. So if you get positive answer, that means our assumption is correct and members are tension members. And if you are getting answer in negative value, then 
this assumption is incorrect and members are compression members so so when you draw free body diagram of c there is one reaction 9 kN so this is 9 kN one force along this cd so this force is fcd along this direction away from the joint c and another force is fbc along bc and it is also away from the c now you can apply equations of equilibrium for this joint this free body diagram of joint c so first is sigma fx equal to 0 so this is fcd plus fbc cos theta is equal to 0 from that you are getting fcd is equal to minus fbc cos theta now theta value of theta is known 36.87 but fbc and fcd both are unknown so we cannot determine at this moment so what we will do we will take sigma fy is equal to 0 so fbc sin theta plus 9 kN so 9 plus fbc sin theta is equal to 0 so fbc is equal to minus 9 divided by sin theta now value of theta is 36.87 put that value so you will get minus 9 sin 36.87 when you solve this you will get fbc is equal to minus 15 kN so minus sign indicates this member is compression member so bc is a compression member because you are getting negative answer now put this value of fbc here and you will get value of fcd so fcd is equal to minus of My, my fbc is minus 15 so minus 15 cos 36.87 when you solve this you will get fcd is equal to 12 kN so this member is tension member because answer is positive so two forces we have determined in bc and cd these values are 15 kN compression and 12 kN tension now we will take next joint d now because cd is known so only two unknown members are forces in two unknown the two unknown forces in members are this bd and ad so these two can be determined as we have already determined force in cd so free body diagram of d and draw forces one is this 12 kN acting vertical downward direction and these two forces in along horizontal direction and one is along this vertical direction so draw this fcd fcd away from the joint d and fbd in this direction away from d and fed in this direction along ad so now you can apply sigma fx equal to 0 equations of equilibrium so in that you will get fad is equal to fcd fcd minus fad is equal to 0 that means fcd is equal to fad and the cd is already determined 12 kN therefore ad will also be 12 kN so value of fad is 12 kN and this is tension member sigma fy is equal to 0 so fbd minus 12 kN is equal to 0 so you will get fbd is also as 12 kN this member is also tension member because you are getting positive answer so in this way you have obtained forces in bd and ad so we have determined now this force in this member force in this member in this member and this member only remaining member is ab so we have to determine force in ab in next step so what we will do we will draw free body diagram of joint a so take joint a now draw these forces one is 8 kN along this direction 3 kN in upward direction and one force along ab in this direction away from a and ad in this direction horizontal direction away from a so these forces are shown here this is fad in this direction fad and fab fab in this direction making angle of theta fab and then these two forces 3 kN and 8 kN now apply free, uh, equations of equilibrium here sigma fy is equal to 0 only required so fab and 3 kN we have to take so 3 plus fab sin theta is equal to 0 so fab is equal to minus -3 divided by sin theta so fab is equal to minus -3 sin 36.87 when you solve this you will get fab is equal to minus -5 kN and minus sign indicates compression member so in this way we have determined forces in all the members you can make one table and put all these values in in the tabular form 
and in this way you can determine forces in all members using method of joints thank you for watching this video